Now that we're deployed, we can migrate virtual machines and vApps, vCloud Connector's most powerful feature. Let's migrate a simple workload from vSphere to vCloud Director. For this migration, I'll use the vCloud Connector plugin inside the vSphere client. And to start, we need to choose a workload to migrate. So I created a small virtual machine called Migrate Me. You can use the search dialog to find a particular workload by name. We can see that my Migrate Me virtual machine is in fact powered on. In order to migrate workloads, they will first need to be powered off. You can always clone these virtual machines hot and then migrate the powered off clone. But in my case, I'm going to go ahead and power off this virtual machine by clicking the gear and then clicking power off. We'll go ahead and confirm. And you can see we've powered off a vSphere virtual machine through our vCloud connector. The next step is to copy the workload. So we'll go back and click on the gear and then click on the copy button. You'll notice the copy workload dialog pops up and then we can select a cloud. We can put in a vApp name, a description if we want. We can select a virtual data center to migrate to. And then we're copying to our catalog, so we need to select a catalog to send it to. We'll then click copy. And you'll see the migration begin to take place. vCloud Connector automatically converts the virtual machine to an OVF and then transfers the virtual machine from node to node and then from node into our vCloud organization through the vCloud API. This was a relatively small workload that we moved. So keep in mind that large workloads in the gigabyte range will take much longer than this. vCloud Connector does have the ability to resume a failed transfer, which makes it a great way to migrate virtual machines from cloud to cloud. In addition to workload migration, vCloud Connector also has the ability to deploy vApps. So let's deploy a vApp and power it on, all through vCloud Connector. So back in my vSphere client, I'm going to drill down into our Greatco organization and come to my private catalog and then click on the template tab. You'll notice there's some graphical glitches here. To get rid of these, we can simply draw back the tasks window. And then you can see our vApp templates. So as an example, we'll go ahead and deploy our web application template by clicking on the gear and then clicking on deploy. We can put in a name for our vApp, a description, a virtual data center, and then select a network to connect it to. In this case, I'll go ahead and connect it to my Greatco internal network, and then we can also power on the vApp after deployment. So let's go ahead and click deploy, and you can see the deployment start within our tasks window. The vCloud Connector console access is another useful feature. Console access through vCloud Connector means I don't have to log into the web UI to locally administer virtual machines. So back in the vCloud Connector plugin within vSphere, I can click on a virtual data center and then click on workloads. And we can see thumbnail icons for the consoles for my virtual machines. We should now be able to come to a console of a virtual machine, click on it, and access the console of virtual machines in any one of our clouds within vCloud Connector, including vCenter and our vCloud organization. 